With the rising cost of insulin, many of those who use the medication are struggling to afford it. News 9's Hannah Hayes spoke with the director of pharmacy at one local hospital to learn more. For millions of Americans who rely on insulin to manage their diabetes, the price surge can pose a financial burden. The American Diabetes Association estimates that over 34 million people in the U.S. have diabetes, and a portion of that number relies on insulin to control their blood sugar levels. Starting in 2024, manufacturers faced a $35 cap on out-of-pocket costs for Part D medications, with many commercial insurance plans adopting the same cap. According to East Liverpool City Hospital's Director of Pharmacy, Bill Smith, nearly all diabetes injectables have seen an increase as of July 1st. We believe that they're cost shifting onto entities like our hospital, which is a disproportionate share hospital. We were able to purchase drugs on a federal pricing program called 340B. Starting July 1, we noticed a dramatic increase in our insulin costs. A disproportionate share hospital treats a higher percentage of uninsured and underinsured patients and therefore is eligible to receive government funding to help manage the costs. Under the 340B drug pricing program, East Liverpool's outpatient pharmacy passes on savings from manufacturers to patients. These prices can vary by quarter, and Smith said even after July 1st, the price of diabetes injectables has increased anywhere from $20 to $80. They're very shocked because you know, previous quarter, they were able to purchase a 90-day supply for $8, and now it's, you know, $50, $60, $70. Cindy Hilliard has diabetes and explained that she had to change her budget to be able to afford the medicine that helps her fight the condition. When I worked, I paid $40 for three months of medicine. It went to 200 because they considered it a tear drug. So, yes, it's, it's very frustrating to have to pay out that kind of money when I'm retired and trying to make it on my own. According to Oxford Academic, three major insulin manufacturers dominate the U.S. market, controlling approximately 90 percent of it. As a result, prices can vary and cost some patients up to $1,000 per month. To get on TV and say it's $35 for a month for insulin is not right. It's not just to the constituents. Not when I walk in here and my price changed from $8 for 90 days to $100 a month. Smith noted that patients travel from all around the area to ELCH for its 340B drug pricing program. We've seen people travel from Cleveland, Wheeling, middle of Pennsylvania. You know, they, they travel two or three hours. Smith said that there are people lobbying at both the national and state levels about the pricing of the 340B drug pricing program. He encourages patients to voice their opinions about the program to local representatives. We will continue to track the price of insulin in our region and bring you any new developments. Reporting in the studio, I'm Hannah Hayes, News 9. Hi, I'm Dylan Cleland. Thanks for watching. And here's another video to check out, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.